Hello. I experienced my first death. That I can, like, I'm not young. I'm not too young, and uh, it's actually a faculty at university, and I do feel kind of sad. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> like when this happened in my family relative. I only had one. That actually, I had two family relatives that died. See, I forgot. But the one was a guy. One was a lady. The guy, um, I was close, but not that close and young. And the lady, I was, I felt I was closer with her, although I only saw her like once per year. But, um, the news was, I think it's more of the shock rather than sadness. But, like, and both of these occurrences probably happened when I was like 15, like 15, 16, 17, around that age range. And now I'm 25. It's the first death and I'm sad. And the thing is, it's not a family member, it's a faculty, but... She, she was a nice, she was a lovely, um, she was, uh, I don't know, I'm sad, like, I, I, I thought she was nice, I liked her passion, that's the thing, um, um, she had really long hair, it was always so cool, like, it was braided, and, um, yeah, I liked her passion, like, um, I remember when, the other thing, like, when I interacted with her, um, like, she felt so knowledgeable, but she has a lot to give, but I just, like, I think our personalities didn't match or something, like, I sometimes felt I didn't, like, part of me wanted to connect with her, like, to, to be more involved in what she does, because I, I admire her passion, but then, I think because I didn't proactively, like, talk to her about this, and kind of i know like whenever we interacted it didn't feel there's a spark you know i think sometimes you do feel a spark even the faculty or or um you know like professionally so feel a spark like when i do interviews i do feel a spark with people but i didn't feel it with her although um so it kind of felt she wasn't that nice but i know she is nice um how do i know that oh, actually i'm not sure <laughs> but because no from her interaction with me it wasn't it wasn't nice um, just, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but, um, I almost, almost cheered up, I didn't, so, yeah, yeah, and it's sad, but it's, it shouldn't be, well, I feel more sad than my family relatives dying, but why, it's like, it's an, an technically, she's a no person to me, you know, mm. Things like that. She's just like it won't have made a difference. It's not like I would have seen her in the streets or something. Like no, she's dead. So, I mean, dead or alive, it won't affect my life at all. <sighs> Wondering if they do like some type of memorial or like commemoratory thingy on campus. I would go. The thing is, I wanted to go to the Jewish synagogue stand together after the Pennsylvania shooting um, to to, uh, to display my support, but um, I didn't. It's too lazy. So many things gonna happen in this thing. I'll be like, I want to go, but again, I'm too lazy. So that's that. Um, <laughs> I'm getting excited. I, I do feel sad, and the way it affected me. The thing is, I just knew about the news like five minutes ago, and I think the sadness can fade away. Like now, it's kind of the same level. But um, so so listen, if it's maybe like a family member, like a close relative, maybe I'll be really sad and maybe cry. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> just okay. So that's what I learned today. So now I I'll go to the I three lesson. I don't have a bus pass, so I'm gonna have to walk. Um, so, yeah, I discovered the news through Facebook, like, someone posted on the Zoology 2090 group, which was like, wait, what? Like, I know this group is closed, um, and it's only for our cohort here, I'm like, who would post something like, oh my god, maybe it's like a job opportunity. Then I pressed on it, it's, it was actually the person who was meant to be my mentor and first, like, first year mentor. He never really followed up with me or showed up, and then I kind of, I'm not sure did I forget, I was too shy to approach him, or I wasn't sure what was happening. I should uh, harass him more, like, to, to see each other. But either way, we didn't, we only talked once. 
And I do know him, and he's really like he mentioned. He was mentioned in the magazine. He does stuff with birds. I know he was working in the alumni center, and he moved now to BC or something, <clears throat> or New Brunswick. Like I see him posting on LinkedIn. So, in summary, he's the one who posted on the Facebook Zoo Twenty Ninety group. He said like she inspired him to do stuff, and that's why he's doing it now. And yeah, and he put, he put like seven sad emojis to to show his <laughs> sadness. <laughs> Uh, I guess maybe that's how you rate sadness. For me, I think like, uh, I think he, he put seven for me, I guess it would be like a four, five out of seven, three. And like, I think it goes from um, five, four, three, like three, four, five. That's my sadness level so like right now. It's like, like when I think about it, I'm like, oh, I could almost tear up if I wait a while and think about it. But then now it's like kind of three, two. So yeah. I guess the average is four sad emojis. There you go. Now you know. So, um, uh, I guess I should say these things. Like, I'm sorry for um, uh, my condolences to the family. Um, and um, and uh, I won't. <laughs> I won't say she's in a better or good place because I'm not 100% sure what will happen. I know that there's stuff that happens in the graveyard after you die. Like, I, um, I'm not certain. That's why I'm going to the I3YD um, lesson thing to learn more about my religion. But, um, or about facts, you know, it depends the way you look at it. Um, but I'm 100% sure she's not in a better place in the sense she's not in heaven or hell because that's we all go together. But, um, she, I would say she, um, um, rather than thinking where she is now, either she's, um, satisfied, she's being tortured, or she's being, like, just chill, like, literally nothing's happening. Um, um, because, yeah, the graveyard stuff could be really cruel. Really cruel stuff happens, and, like, there is the torture. It could be torture in, in the graveyard, or it could be, like, a, no, 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 it's, it could be a nice thing. Um, yeah, regardless of this, um, she, I would love to have her life, she, uh, she, um, like, I feel she, she really followed what she likes to do, or she followed her passion, she inspired other students, as, as displayed by that one person who posted the, 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 the Facebook post, and I'm sure hundreds more, not only him, um, so yeah, that's why, and she, 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 she was in the education um, sector, I think, yeah, that's why I would love to have her, like, so yeah, I mean, that is amazing, she accomplished a lot. I'm just thinking, I wonder if she has family, like, I mean, she has, like, a spouse and kids or not, but regardless, yeah, that's the, that's her hair jeans, oh, and her really light, nice, long braided hair. I think I would, I, I definitely say that's an achievement. So I remember, what was it? I think she was the lab in instructor for like vertebrate. And she was like the lab instructor slash professor because there was no lecture, it's just the lab for um, mammalogy, the one I dropped. And wait, did I drop it? Yeah, but the weird thing is, I can tell all the way to like the middle. But yeah, so that's that. And thank you. And ciao, bye bye.